God brought to us. They still ask us to stand. The, the preacher of the day is the one who's going to ask us to sit down when he's on stage. And because I may not return on the stage, my name is Bishop Gigi. I want to thank God for this far. We want to invite one of our fathers to bring the word of God to us. And he is Bishop Moffat Kirioba. So let us invite him and welcome. He will ask us to sit down when he is on stage. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. We can take our seats. Thank you. Take our seats. Thank you. The Lord bless you so much. Thank you. I was trying to jump, but I used to jump very high. I can't jump very high now. I don't know why. Uh, I seem to be so much stuck on the ground. But anyway, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have a few minutes, a few minutes to preach a, a three-hour sermon. But I have a few minutes, just a few minutes, to preach uh, a three-hour sermon. So I'm going to read my text, and then you can wa walk through the text quietly as I make my few remarks and quit. I'm reading, because I'm speaking to pastors, Peter is writing to pastors, and we are here for a purpose. We are here on a mission. First Peter chapter 5 from verse 5 to 11, the Bible says, uh, uh, the Bible says, Likewise, you younger ones, submit yourselves to the elders. Yes, all of you. I think that's all of you. I've lost, I've lost my text. It just disappeared. Now, where, where is this text when I need it? I think I touched a button. I touched a button and it disappeared. You see, this is the technology. I'm still uh, migrating from analog into, uh, so I'm in the middle. I found it. Likewise, you younger ones, submit yourselves to the elders. Yes, all of you be submissive one to another and clothe yourselves with humility because... God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Verse 6. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your care upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and watchful, because... Your adversary, the devil, walks around as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him firmly in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. But after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will, number one, restore, support, strengthen, and establish you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. I love it. I'm ready to preach now. But I'm not going to preach. I'm going to restrain myself not to preach. This is the first kind of this kind of meeting from the time we became independent. And by the grace of God, I was there. I was there to witness the first time when the Union Jack was a uh, Jack was Lord. And our national flag went up at Uhuru Gardens. 
It was later to be followed by a meeting in Kamukunji, which I also attended. And I have always voted from that time until today. You see, brothers and sisters, what has happened is this. The church has been ignored. And the reason why the church has been ignored is because we know so much and we do so little. We said one can chase how many? But two? What about a thousand? That's your assignment. When your grandchildren are doing the assignment, do your assignment and see how many you can chase. You know, so we are here very happy. His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoe Ruto, and his dear wife, Rachel, we began a journey in prayer for many years. We've been praying for over three years. Over three years. But praying alone is not good. I said praying alone is not good. John Maxwell says, Leadership is influence. And there is another one who said, if you want to determine who is the leader, ask them to take a walk. And then ask them to look behind and see who is following. If there is nobody following you, you are simply taking a walk. You are not a leader. So there are people here possibly who are simply taking a walk. And they are here. Because when you walk and you look back, there is nobody following you. You are not a leader. But I believe we gathered people here, men and women who are leaders, from our 47 counties of Kenya. And if two can chase 10,000, and one can chase 1,000, how many of us here, if we engage to take His Excellency William Samoy Ruto to State House in a hurry so that we can go there and talk in tongues for the first time? For the first time in State House. We can go there and talk in tongues, my Kutibaka Shinda Rabos. Every corner of that state house we speak in tongues if you like it say yes i'll sit down i want to give you an assignment this is not for the faint-hearted no it's not for the faint-hearted i want to look back and say do i have a thousand or do i have ten thousand following me because we have a project in Aitua, Kenya, Kwanza. Let us leave everything now. Kenya, Kwanza. Let us put Kenya number one. For once as a believer and as a Christian. And say, we want to do this thing. Now listen to me. I am aware there must be a Judas Iscariot somewhere among us. I'm aware. But we are not afraid. We are not afraid of Judas Iscariot. Because we know where he's going to go. I'll be voting. I'll vote by 6 in the morning. I'll be the first in my polling station to vote by 6. And after I finish voting at 6, then I will walk around to observe the voting, how it's going. I'll be visiting polling stations to see how things are going. 
but I'll vote by six. Please, you make sure you vote. You make sure you vote. Amen? And vote where it counts. Don't vote where you are going to lose. Vote where it counts. That's number one. Number two, you make sure you mobilize all your voters, all your leaders to vote. Speak about it. Tell them, go and vote. Because it is your right to vote. Amen? Go and vote. Tazingine haa vijana wengi wanapiganga muziki lakini hawana kura. Make sure they vote. Those who have got kuras, let them vote. Amen? On that day, mobilize. That's how we can help our nation. That's how we can have an impact. That's how our vote can begin to count. For once as believers, when we speak, the nation will listen. Because they will know if you play with these people, they can hire you and fire you. Four things from my text, and I'll be done. Number one, he says, be submissive one to another and clothe yourselves with humility. Why? Because God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Submissive is not weakness. No. You are submitting under the mighty hand of God. And God at his own timing, he is going to exalt you. He's going to lift you up. So he says, number two, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. There is a due time, your excellency. Yes, let them call you all the names they want to call you. Let them say what they want to say because there is a due time. And in due time, God is going to bring you where you are supposed to be. I am li I'm listening and I'm beginning to feel and I'm beginning to imagine. It is like we are in a place called maternity. I happen to have visited that place once, Pumwani. And I was so scared, I almost dropped dead. The voices that I was hearing from inside there, I never believed women will give birth another baby. But I'm surprised even after they go there, they still go there again another year. I don't understand. But then I was told, I was reliably informed, when the baby is due for delivery, what you need is strength to push strength believe us as we live here we are asking god for strength to do what to push. because for sure the baby the baby is going to be born for sure on 9th of august the baby is going to be born <laughs> and we have checked we have done these uh, 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 scientific tests. We know he's going to be a boy. We know that after doing our scientific tests. And we have also checked and we know we have, we have a name. We have a name. Uh, God gave it to us. And we saw this name some years ago. Let me tell you something. This is the first man from the time we became independent who stood up and promoted the, the, the translation of the Bible first man he was not ashamed we realized over 40 million Kenya shillings no over 400 million Kenya shillings towards the translation of the Bible and this is the man who led the band wagon. When I saw this man do this, I said, no, there's something about this man that we don't know. 
We need to give him an opportunity. We need to give him time. Kenya will be somewhere. So as you leave, push. 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 Until the baby comes out. Number three, cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Cast all your cares upon him because he cares for you. And finally, the God of all grace who has called us to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus will, number one, restore, support, strengthen, and establish you your excellency the god of all graces who has called you to his eternal glory through christ jesus will restore support strengthen and establish you even when they are thinking you don't have support god will give you support he will strengthen you and establish you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you.